Hey, welcome back to Hoffman Leatherworks. Today we're going to be doing a pancake style holster for a Glock 19. We'll start off same way as we always do here with our le leather, um, laser etched leather. If you do get this pattern from me, you will get the paper version so you can just print it out and, and use it that way. Or you will get the SVG files that you can use with your laser. So go ahead and punch the holes the way we start all of our holsters around here. And next I'll punch the one side of the belt holes. So there you see, got all the holes punched up to this point. Go ahead and uh, I'll uh, cut it out. See there, nothing, nothing special about this. Said you will get. You can either do it with your, with your laser cutter. I just etched the pattern in the laser and use that as my template on the leather. But you will also get in the pattern pack a PDF file that you can print out and and use as a pattern to do this. So I'll get this all all cut out. We'll move on to the next step. This is nine ounce veg tan leather, by the way. So there we got everything cut out, do some final trimming. And at this point, I just kind of start the process of cleaning up the edges. You see there I use um, my Dremel with some sandpaper. So I just kind of I start the process. Get those pieces cleaned up and we'll move on. I have several Dremels going at the same time with different different um, grits of sandpaper. So it's faster to just grab one and then grab the other. So now, at this point I edge just the stuff that's not going to be glued together. So I'll get the, the tops and the bottom edged out. Go ahead and glue. You can see that the belt loop I only punch at this time just on one one side of the leather. It's easier for me to to get everything lined up exactly when I do it this way. So I'll, I'll punch the first side and wait till it's all glued and then do a final punch. This is just regular contact cement. You can use pretty much any kind of contact cement that you'd like. I use awls to help me line up all these pre-punched holes. That way I know I can get it as exact as as possible. So I'll use the awls to help me line line up everything once once the glue dries. There, it's all all aligned perfectly. So when we go to do our stitching, we don't really have any any issues. I let this dry, just kind of depending on my time. Nothing specific. A minute sometimes. Go ahead and and um, finish punching the belt, the belt loops. See, this way, I don't have to worry about trying to get everything, you know, so perfectly lined up. If if I punch one of these belt loop holes off, you know, just by a little bit, 
then nothing lines up so I'll punch punch these at the end here as you see now I'll go ahead and grab the Dremel again with a small sanding disc and do more work on the edges now these pieces that are glued together here I'll start working on those and at this point nothing final I just want to kind of start start getting them in shape get everything if there was some when I you know cut it if there was a little bit of misalignment I can clean that up at this point and I do that like I said in stages and just get it to go this is a little bit I guess you can't see it all that great but a little bit um, finer of a sanding disc just to put a little finer sand on those on those edges when I'm building my holsters it's always a constant refining of the edges and trying to get those edges all you know as good as possible now at this point I'll go ahead and finish all of the edging that needs to be done once they've been sanded several times with several different grits so a lot of this stuff you can do in almost any order but that's the way I do it I get to this point now and I'll start start my stitching nothing special here there's a lots of videos on on doing the saddle stitch on on these holsters so you know, let me know if you do want me to get into some more more detail but in this video it's kind of just an overview of how this holster is made again there's so many different ways of, of of doing this this is just the way I do it and sometimes it varies but I've been making these for a long time and you you just kind of find your way But some people will, you know, dye it first. Or I don't worry about the thread getting colored by the dye. You know, unless I have a special request where it needs to be a white thread, then I'll go ahead and dye the dye the holster first and stitch later. But this is generally the way the way I do my process. And like I said, I'm sure everyone out there, if you've done more than one, you starting to find your way of of doing it in order that you're doing it so so here you see we got I got it all stitched up now at this point and the edging is done I've sanded the edges stitching is done at this point I will do my wet molding and here I just kind of skip that process again if anyone wants to see that process you know a little bit closer we can go through it but for the purposes of this video here it's wet molded it's actually the next day it's it's dried we'll go ahead and I'll start working on the the thumb break probably should dye it first So here you see most of my holsters are all airbrushed and I just have a I just made a little I don't know air thing to suck up all the fumes that I just set up on my one of my work spaces here and I just use a shop vac with a bag in it I kind of just dedicated that shop vac a long time ago to doing this so 
I'm sure it's, I haven't looked inside of it for a long time, but I'm sure it's, it's pretty nasty in there. But that, w that way I keep the fumes down in the shop and it, it didn't cost me anything. It was just a tote. I drilled a hole in the bottom and put the hose in and it actually works, you know, really well. And just got it hooked up to a little shop vac. It's portable, easy to put away when I'm done. So this is just my one main workbench that I do a lot of things on. And this tote just sits underneath. So there you see the snaps are on, the thumb brake's on, the stiffener. Here's another one that I did just a different color it's actually for a customer it's been sent out and they're got some feedback on it and he's real happy with it so but all of that information is in the files that that you get if you do if you do order one of the files from me or if you order the holster itself so I hope everyone liked this. Comment below. Let me know what you think. We can go into more detail on certain stuff if we need to. But uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.